Welcome to our MRC clinics. This video is to explain the principles of the MRC clinic system. Whether you're setting up your own MRC clinic or you just want to adopt the principles for your own dental orthodontic practice, this video is important to you. You'll see there are a number of elements that are quite different and I'll run through those in a moment. But the key element is we're talking about education and children's health. So the areas behind us, which is the trainer activities and the consult areas are the ones that work hardest for you. It's important you allocate these separate areas for patient and parent education. Let's run through the principles of the MRC clinic layout and I'll show you some of the things that are very similar and some of the things that are quite different. Obviously, this is very similar. We have a waiting room, but it's very child orientated. We have games that they can play. We also have an educational DVD running for parents and patients to understand the principles of what we're trying to achieve. As we move forward into the trainer activity area, this is being able to be viewed by the parents and the children, and it's a very interesting child orientated area. So we have multiple DVD players which have our trainer activities and our nutrition videos, all for interactive education of children. So this is really an educational area, very child orientated, low screens, low chairs are very important. So this is not for adults, this is for the children, that children immediately relate to this. Then as we move forward into the educational areas, we have two of these. These are very important as well. You don't really want to be explaining about the treatment to parents in the dental surgery. You want a separate area that is very user friendly and it's all about education and all about discussion of their, their children. So we have areas so that we can have all their children, um, grandparents, aunties, uncles, everyone who's involved in the education process can be contained in this area. So we have two of these, as I said, it's important not to be able to um, tie, be tied up with waiting for patients to go into the consult area. The idea is that patients come in and very quickly they're seen in the, either the activities area or the consult area. You'll see in the clinic we have quite a number of mirrors so that we can show the children exactly what their problem is and then what their solution is. So we get the children to look in the mirror and see what their dysfunction is, see their incorrect swallowing pattern, see their mouth open posture, and this makes them very aware that they need to correct it. So very important to have mirrors everywhere so we can explain this to the parents and the patients. Then as we move through here, we have three regular uh, surgeries or operatories. Now these are designed quite differently, designed completely around the myofunctional hedonic technique. You can see, again, very user friendly, no dental equipment showing, very neat and tidy and lots of colours. Children realise that this is all about them and the more you can orientate the treatment around children, the more you'll get very good compliance and much better results. Here we have a larger surgery, again, two mirrors. We can do everything like adjusting BWSs, even fitting brackets, all that can be done in here very quickly. But in each of the surgeries, we also have the educational area so they can have a dual function. Many times you'll get asked a question during the course of the treatment, maybe about an appliance, how an appliance works, and you can go straight to the CD, educational CD, and explain it very easily to the patient. More importantly, your staff can handle these questions and you can be out and seeing another patient. And as we move into surgery three, you see we have lifted the, the colors and the, the graphics to make the children feel that this is all about them. Now, very important is to have a separate records room. Now, when we need to take photos, which we do every three months, start of the treatment every three months, and um, when we change an appliance, you don't want to be tying the patient uh, and the surgery up in those areas when you've got other patients in the waiting or activities area. So we have a separate records room. Uh, it also gets all the mess out of the way, but it's also centralised so we can take photos and models 
and very quickly get the, the children back out of here and when they're out of the surgeries and they're here you can get other patients in. Very important, we'll talk about patient flow later, very important to keep it moving and it's a different pr principle from a regular orthodontic practice. So as we move into some of the more mundane things we have our sterilisation room, um, obviously very important away from the surgeries. Regular lab, um, we mostly do our BWSs, our um, uh, vacuum form retainers and um, so pretty basic procedures, not a full blown lab so you don't need a lot of size. One of the important things is education, which I said parent and patient education, but also education your staff and your other doctors. So we have this central educational area where we devise treatment plans. All the doctors and our key staff are overviewing each of the treatment plans and troubleshooting anything along the way. So one day um, a week we allocate a time uh, to do treatment plans and evaluate patients' progress. And also we get uh, the doctors and our uh, therapists to do case presentations so we can all learn from the experience of, of what's happening with some of these patients.